got big news here. We received the 3090 Ti and we're gonna inspect it. We're gonna make an open box to see what's inside. It's a huge GPU. So let's go. We got two versions. We got a Sodak. We're gonna check it out. But more interesting is the EVGA. Look at this baby here. Huge GPU. Looking from the front, from the side. It's a four slot GPU. But let's open the box and see what we have inside. And here it is. The 3080, 3090 Ti. Looking from the back, we got four slot GPU, meaning that if you have planning to have two of this in the computer, you better not, or you can contact us and we for sure will do it because we want to cool the whole thing. But only one will be able to install. They will get very hot. We're talking about 489 watts. Actually, we're gonna see how much watt is gonna consume in a later video when we test it. A cool thing now, we got the 12 pin connector for the first time. So it's a different connector. It's an adapter that you're gonna have. Let's check it out what we have here. So now we have three cables. This is not optimal, but that's what we got right now. I guess the problem here will be like the power supplies these days, they don't have this 12 pin connector, but we expect a uh, new power supply in latest this year or next year to have this connector so we could go straight from the uh, power supply to the GPU. So we don't have to use this massive uh, three pin cable that we of course gonna connect here. And then we go from the power supply to so three A pin connectors for now. All right, so that's a good uh, a new change that we have. NVLink connector on the top is the same. We don't expect nothing different here. Now, a good and a big difference that you're not seeing right here is before, remember the 3090 has 24 gigs of memory and we have memory in both sides of the PCB. We have memory on the chip side and on the back. Now the memory, this type of memory, GDDR6X, get really hot. And uh, because of that, the cooling was really bad and you get, a, you get a lot of thermal throttling on the memory if you're running like deep learning tasks or gaming or any kind of heavy task. Now here in this CPU, in this GPU, they pull all the memory on this on the chipset side. So in this side, so the whole heat sink is uh, cooling now the memory, which is that that's a really good thing. And of course, we're gonna test it out. We're gonna check uh, the memory conjunctions to see what the temperature is in those places. But yeah, pretty much that's it. You can go to the gym. You know, you can do some heavy lifting with this thing. But right now. It's a huge, it's a massive GPU. This is the ultra, how we call it? The ultra big BFP GPU. There you go.